Today we will discuss a summary and brief review of the film Unthinkable. Unthinkable is a 2010 American thriller film directed by Gregor Jordan and starring Samuel L. Jackson, Michael Sheen, and Carrie Ann Moss. It was released direct to video on June 14, 2010. The film is noteworthy for the controversy it generated around its subject matter, the torture of a man who threatens to detonate three nuclear bombs in three U.S. cities. A psychological thriller centered around a black ops interrogator and an FBI agent who press a suspect terrorist into divulging the location of three nuclear weapons set to detonate in the U.S. A convert to Islam sends the U.S. government a tape showing him in three nondescript storage rooms, each of which may contain a nuclear bomb set to detonate in less than a week. You can check the tech details. Any direct evidence that this is real? Helen Brody, an FBI agent in L.A., so is tasked with finding the bombs while a CIA consultant, known as H, interrogates the suspect who has allowed himself to be caught. The younger! The suspect, whose wife and children have left him and disappeared, seems to know exactly what the interrogation will entail. Even as H ratchets up the pressure, using torture over Brody's objection, the suspect doesn't crack. Should H do the unthinkable, and will Brody acquiesce? Is any constitutional principle worth possible loss of life? After suspecting Henry Humphreys of being a terrorist, FBI agent Helen Brody and others from the counterterrorism unit find out that he is connected with CIA, and they must work together with him to interrogate a suspect, Stephen Arthur Younger, who has allegedly placed three nuclear bombs in three U.S. cities that will explode on Friday, October 21st. After conventional questioning and torture fail, Henry resorts to unconventional means, much to Helen's chagrin. A battered and bloodied Stephen states that he will only reveal the locations of these bombs after the president makes a public announcement that there will be no further financial and military support of puppet regimes and dictators in any Islamic nation, and all U.S. forces must withdraw from all Islamic nations. They'll listen to you, they'll know your to help you, okay? Will the U.S. be willing to change its centuries-old foreign policy in order to save the lives of millions of its citizens, or will Henry have to do the unthinkable in order to get this suspect to reveal the exact location of these bombs? An FBI counterterrorism team and a black ops agent are assigned to interrogate an American Muslim man named Yusuf Sheen, formerly named Younger, who claims to have nuclear bombs planted in three U.S. cities that will go off if his, at first, unstated, demands are not met. Using extreme torture as a method of interrogation, H. Samuel L. Jackson attempts to force Yusuf to reveal the locations of the nuclear bombs. Also involved is Special Agent Helen Brody of the FBI. At the same time, is leading a team trying to locate the bombs using other information. Once H is authorized to interrogate Yusuf, he quickly shows his capability and cruelty by chopping off one of Yusuf's fingers with a small hatchet. Horrified, Special Agent Brody attempts to put a stop to the measures. Her superiors make it clear that the potentially disastrous consequences necessitate these extreme measures. As the plot unfolds, H escalates his methods, with Brody as the good cop, and Yusuf, trained in resisting torture, maintains his silence. When Brody accuses Yusuf of faking the bomb threat in order to make a point about the moral character of the United States government, he breaks down and agrees that it was all a ruse. He gives her an address to prove it, but visiting the address triggers a C4 explosion at a nearby shopping mall killing 53 people. Angry at the senseless deaths, Brody takes a scalpel and begins cutting Yusuf's chest. It is clear, though, that Yusuf is not afraid. He justifies the deaths by comparing them to the greater number of Muslim deaths by American hands. Yusuf then makes his demands. He would like the President of the United States to announce a cessation of support for puppet governments and dictatorships in Middle Eastern countries and a withdrawal of American troops from the Middle East. That all U.S. forces will be... 
The group immediately dismisses the possibility of his demands being met, citing the United States' declared policy of not negotiating with terrorists. H falters in his belief that the bomb's location will be revealed until the life of Yusuf's wife is threatened in front of him. Brody attempts to persuade her to cooperate, and she refuses. H brings her in front of her husband and threatens to mutilate her in front of him. Brody and the others refuse to assent to her torture and start to remove her from the room. In desperation, H slashes her throat and she bleeds to death in front of Yusuf. Yusuf still refuses to cooperate, and H tells the soldiers to bring in Yusuf's two children, a young boy and a girl. Outside of Yusuf's hearing, he assures everyone that he will not harm the children. H brings Yusuf's children in front of him and prepares to torture the children. Brody demands that Yusuf reveal the locations of the bombs. Yusuf finally breaks and gives three addresses in New York, Los Angeles, and Dallas. H does not stop his preparations to torture the boy and girl and the others forcibly intervene and remove the children. H reminds the team of the amount of missing nuclear material Yusuf may have had at his disposal some 15 to 18 pounds were reported missing, with about four and a half pounds needed per nuclear weapon. H insists that Yusuf has not admitted anything about the existence of a fourth bomb. H insists that Yusuf planned for the eventuality that he would finally capitulate to torture or coercion and reveal the three bombs locations, and believes Yusuf placed the fourth bomb for just such a contingency. When Brody refuses to retrieve the children for H, H unstraps Yusuf, saying Yusuf has won. Yusef suddenly grabs one of the agent's revolver and kills himself. Brody walks out of the building with Yusef's children. This is the end of the original direct-to-DVD version. In the extended version, an FBI bomb disposal team arrives at one of the disclosed locations and resets the timer to prevent the bomb from going off. As the FBI are celebrating, the unknown fourth bomb is revealed behind a nearby crate as its timer counts down to zero.